So what we're going to go through in today's video is search activity and black market. Search activity is the time spent looking for someone with whom to do business with. An example of this is every time we make a purchase, we spend some time in search activity, which uh, includes to looking for the best deals and alternatives available. Now, when price is regulated and there is a shortage, uh, search activity increases. So, for example, using our house example, house, housing shortage example, there's a shortage, so people want the same deal as other, uh, other, other people, other renters who actually got their houses. So their search activity for those prices increases, for those low prices increases. So the opportunity cost of good equals the price plus the value of search time spent finding that good. A good doesn't just come to us, we have to go to it. We have to find that good using, uh, using, using our own time. And that is added to the price to give us the full opportunity cost of a good. So using housing as an example again, the opportunity cost of housing is the rent, which is regulated by the force of law, plus the opportunity cost of search activity, which is unregulated because how can you regulate such things as time? Well, yeah, so time and etc. they are the opportunity cost, the unregulated opportunity cost of search activity. Now, search activity is costly, time and other resources. For example, phone calls, automobiles, gas, they could all be used for, uh, more, they could all be used in more productive ways. Rent ceiling controls only the rent portion of the cost of housing. The cost of increased search activity may end up making the full cost of housing higher than it would be without the rent ceiling. So, to make this more intuitive, let's just go through a short example. So let's say that uh, no, not, um, let's say that the normal, uh, the normal, normal unregulated price. So this is rent price. So this is the price that I'll pay when there are no rent ceilings. So let's say it's two hundred dollars. No ceilings. Now, let's say that there is a ceiling. Rent ceiling enforced. Rent ceiling enforced. Rent ceiling enforced. So this will make it so that the price that I pay is actually $100. But let's say that there is a shortage of housing, so I have to spend time to actually find my housing. So I spend a day, one day of search time looking for houses. Now in that one day, if I make twenty dollars an hour, or let's let's make it more let's make it uh one day let's say yeah, let's say twenty dollars an hour and let's say I make I work for uh eight hours. That's that's a hundred and sixty dollars. So that's a hundred and sixty dollars. So that so the rent ceiling uh, opportunity cost opportunity cost of housing is actually a hundred plus a hundred and sixty dollars. So it's actually two hundred sixty dollars to that it cost me. So the full cost of housing is higher than it would be without the rent ceiling because without the rent ceiling it only cost me two hundred, but with it with the opportunity cost of the the price of rent and my search time, which is $160, it costed me $260 with the rent ceiling to get housing. Now, black markets. Black markets is an illegal market that operates alongside a legal market in which the price ceiling or other restriction has been imposed. So pretty much all that's happening here is you're doing some shady business in which you are pretty much selling above the rent ceiling, which makes it an illegal market. Shortage of housing creates a black market in housing, and that is something that's just intuitive. Now, with rent ceiling in force, renters and landlords seek ways to increase their rent. They don't want to uh, sell short. They don't want to uh, sell their housing for uh, for a price that is not enough for them. So option one, tenants can pay a higher price for worthless luxuries such as a shower curtain. They can 
uh, the the landlord may make you pay for a shower curtain that's worth more than it should be. The tenant could also pay a high price for new keys and, and locks. That is called key money. And there are probably some other options too in which the landlord can uh, use the, these methods they can use to make te their renters pay more than they should be. So essentially they're making these, they're selling their housing at the equilibrium price which is above the rent ceiling which makes it illegal. The level of black market rent depends on how tightly the rent ceiling is enforced. So if we have loose enforcement, then the black market rent is close to the unregulated rent. And if we have strict enforcement, that the black market rent is equal to the maximum price that the renter is willing to pay. And you can just memorize that if you want, but if you want to get more into it, you should read your book. But if you just want to get an A in your class, which most of us do, you can just remember that. Uh, that's all I want to teach you for today. In the next video, we're going to go through inefficiency of a rent ceiling. And other than that, please rate, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.